Hello and thank you for joining us for a look at the InLab user interface and functions for Extreme Labs environment. After launching a lab, the user will see the following interface, with a virtual machine viewable on the right and the lab control pane on the left side of the screen. To begin, let's take a look at the virtual machine interface itself. We can interact with the virtual machine simply by moving our mouse cursor over the window and selecting elements just as you would with any other computer. In general, all the virtual machines we host will come with internet access as well as the ability to download and install applications while the environment is active. Next, let's look at the lab control pane. This area of the screen contains the environment's lab steps and virtual machine controls separated into three tabs at the top of the pane. The first tab will display the steps for the selected lab. Selecting the checkboxes next to each of the steps will allow learners to keep their place in the environment. At the bottom of the steps, you'll find the controls that'll move us forward and backwards between the different tasks. Selecting the keyboard icon at the top of the pane will allow you to see all the different virtual machines that are available within your environment. You can switch between the different virtual machines by either using the drop-down menu or by selecting from the list on the pane itself. This page also has all different various shortcuts for controls within the environment, such as Control Delete, and an option to restart the virtual machine if needed. There's also options for taking screenshots, which will be available in the bottom left-hand side of the screen, where users can easily copy and save these images in case they are needed locally. And finally, the accessibility option will allow users to uh, turn on internal screen reader in case they have uh, visibility issues, as well as hide the support chat option. Finally, we have the information tab. This tab will contain information necessary for the lab, such as tenants for accessing cloud-based resources or special network information if required. It will also contain classroom information, such as the name of the instructor, the dates of the classroom, as well as any links that may have been configured by the instructor. Finally, the R Extreme Labs user guide will always be available on this page as well. As an added feature, the LabStep user interface can be detached from the browser window to allow for more screen space or to move the lab steps to a more convenient location, such as a second monitor. This option is available at the top of the lab control pane next to the duration. Down below, the Lab Actions menu will contain the option to end the lab and save the lab. Please note that if you select to end a lab, all of the environment's resources and progress will be lost. This should only be done if you are ready to end the lab, such as completing the lab steps or need to launch a different lab environment. If you have an active classroom, you should have access to the Save Lab option. This can be used to pause the system resources and your progress for an extended period of time so that you can come back and complete the labs at a later date. At the bottom of the page are several options for contacting Extreme Labs technical support. On the right side of the screen is an option for opening chat, which will allow you to interact directly with our support team. You can also find our email, phone number, and a form to fill out on the left side of the screen under the Support and Contact Us menus. Thank you very much for joining us. 